The WaveRunner 6ZI oscilloscope is the newest member of the WaveRunner family and features eight new models with bandwidths ranging from 400 megahertz to 4 gigahertz. The WaveRunner 6ZI features a large 12.1 inch widescreen display in a small footprint. The display can rotate 90 degrees and pivot for optimal viewing. The WaveRunner 6ZI also features a redesigned front panel, including the WavePilot navigation section. The WavePilot control area is operated with a super knob, which easily navigates tables or quickly zooms or pans waveforms. The WaveRunner 6ZI is compatible with a wide range of probes for easy connection to the device under test, including passive, active, differential, and current probes. The L-Bus connector allows easy connection to the MS250 or 500 mixed signal option to add up to 36 additional digital lines. The full suite of measurements, math, serial trigger, and decode packages makes the WaveRunner 6ZI the ultimate debug machine. The WavePilot control area of the front panel provides easy access to very useful debug and documentation features. The WavePilot control area contains buttons that correspond to specific functions, such as cursors, spectrum analyzer, lab notebook, history mode, wave scan, and decode. These function buttons are used together with the super knob to provide increased instrument control at your fingertips. The Super Knob is a joystick-like knob in the center of the WavePilot control area used to make selections or provide specific values. LEDs surrounding the Super Knob and buttons provide feedback regarding what mode you are presently in and what knob turns and pushes are currently available. Additionally, a flyout menu provides quick help to illustrate what options are available to use. WaveRunner 6ZI offers a wide range of optional serial data trigger and decode tools. Here, I2C clock and data signals are being displayed. To decode these signals, push the decode button in the WavePilot control area. In the menu, select the protocol, then assign the channels for data and clock, and turn the decode on. The color-coded overlay on top of the data waveform shows the protocol information. The Super Knob provides an easy way to navigate through entries in the decode table, zoom decoded waveforms, and pan to areas of interest. Rotate the Super Knob to move through the entries in the table, and the zoomed waveforms update. To zoom in a specific area, click the Super Knob right, and the LED changes to zoom. Rotate the knob to zoom in and out. One more click right and the knob will pan the waveform quickly and easily. WaveRunner 6ZI supports decoding of I2C, SPI, UART, CAN, LIN, FlexRay, Digital Audio, MIPI DeFi, DigRF3G, DigRFV4, MIL Standard 1553, ARINC 429, and USB. The Spectrum Analyzer option provides easy setup tools to assist with debugging in the frequency domain. The Spectrum Analyzer menus share a common language with Spectrum Analyzers, allowing changes to center frequency, span, and resolution bandwidth, for example. The Spectrum mode can be enabled by pushing the Spectrum button in the WavePilot control area. The LED will turn on to indicate the active function assigned to the super knob. The Super Knob LED indicates it is in table mode and can navigate the table of spectrum peaks. Rotate the Super Knob to scroll through the table entries. Now, to look at the highest amplitude peak at 500 MHz, push the Super Knob to move this peak to the center. Click the Super Knob right to enter zoom mode, which will effectively change the span of the spectrum. Click right again to pan the spectrum to center on another peak.
The Wave Pilot control area greatly simplifies frequency analysis on the Wave Runner 6ZI oscilloscope. Use the super knob to adjust cursors by pressing the cursor's function button. Once pressed, the cursor's flyout menu is shown. Pressing the cursor function button moves through states for horizontal absolute, horizontal relative, vertical absolute, vertical relative, and off. LEDs surrounding the super knob provide visual indication of cursors. For example, when opposing LEDs are lit, the cursors are in a relative state. You can push up to control the top cursor and push down to control the bottom cursor. You can also toggle between the top and bottom cursor by pushing the super knob. A third push will lock the cursors together for tracking. Saving results and findings is important for reporting and collaboration. The Lab Notebook tool enables saving screen captures, setup files, and waveforms in one place. The Wave Pilot control area provides easy access to the Lab Notebook menu and a button for quick saving. To save a Lab Notebook entry, simply press the Save button, enter a title for the Lab Notebook entry, and then description if desired. Next, annotate the screen with drawing and label tools and press Done. The Wave Pilot provides a quick way to preview and flashback Lab Notebook entries. Press the Lab Notebook button to access the menu and use the Super knob to scroll through a preview of each saved Lab Notebook. To flash back the scope to recall the waveforms and settings, simply push in the super knob. WaveScan provides a powerful and fast way to scan waveforms for runts, glitches, or other anomalies in a waveform without having to set complicated triggers or past fail conditions. Here, a simple square wave appears to have periodic runt pulses or bad edges. Stop the trigger and enter WaveScan through the Wave Pilot control area. Select Mode to be runt, and the table shows it found three runts. Rotate the super knob to see all three events in the table. To view each runt in more detail, click the super knob right to zoom in you will see the LED change to indicate you are in zoom mode. To move the waveform, click right again to enter pan mode, as indicated by the flyout help and the LED. Rotate the super knob to position the waveform to the desired location. Trigger Scan is a feature designed to find rare and random events that can occur in an everyday signal. Pushing the Trigger Scan button on the front panel will open the setup menu. Start with a trainer function to choose edges, widths, runts, intervals, and glitches. When the trainer is started, the scope will automatically populate the trigger list based on the input signal. Selecting the Stop On Trigger will allow the user to see the specific trigger condition that satisfied the criteria. This time we found a runt that we were not aware was even occurring. By minimizing the trigger rearm time, the oscilloscope is 80% more likely to capture the rare and elusive events compared to other tools on the market. You can manually add or remove trigger events that better suit the specific application.